what's up, Yang Gang? So, this is the first time that we've spoken since the tragedies that happened in El Paso and Dayton. And this hits very close to home for us, quite literally, because we are both originally from Ohio and we both have family in Ohio. And that's a scary feeling. You know, nobody's family should ever have to go through that. And we were struggling because we were, we were trying to decide what type of video to put out. And then we came across this video. And I think it speaks volumes. All the links that you'll need, including the link to the original video, is in the description. Gang, gang, we gotta love each other. That's the only way we're gonna get through this. We got to stay together. And we're gonna go all the way. Thank you, gang, gang. I love you guys. You're the best. The challenges of this era are massive. We feel paralyzed because we fear that our institutions and leaders are no longer able to operate, and the solutions require many to act against their own immediate interests. We strive to make more people and communities capital efficient and market friendly, even as the water level rises. The logic of the market has overtaken most of our waking lives. Normal Americans will increasingly suffer as the market grinds on and eliminates opportunities and paths to a better life. A majority of the technologists I speak to are already 100% certain that the automation wave is coming. Most are ready to head for the hills. I am fighting for my soul because I'm right there with them. I see it too. I see the path from here to there, filled with broken people and communities, and a society torn apart by ever-rising deprivation and disability. People will blame each other because they are locked in a fight for scarcity. Experts will squabble while the average person suffers. Families will deteriorate into dysfunction. Children will come of age with no real hope of a better life and with institutions selling them false promises. The age of automation will lead to many very bad things, but it will also potentially push us to delve more deeply into what makes us human. I have lived in Manhattan, Silicon Valley, and San Francisco while working in Providence, Detroit, New Orleans, Cincinnati, Las Vegas, Baltimore, Cleveland, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, St. Louis, Miami, Columbus, San Antonio, Charlotte, Atlanta, Nashville, Birmingham, Denver, Kansas City, and Washington, D.C. I have been in the room with the people who are meant to steer our society. The machinery is weak. The institutionalization is high. The things you fear to be true are generally true. Through all of the doubt, the cynicism, the ridicule, the hatred and anger, we must fight for the world that is still possible. Imagine it in our minds and hearts and fight for it, with all of our hearts and spirits. As hands reach out clutching at our arms, take them and pull them along. Fight through the whipping branches of selfishness and despair and resignation. Fight for each other like our souls depend on it. Climb to the hilltop and tell others behind us what we see. Land. and build the society we want on the other side the rest of you get up it's time to go what makes you human the better world is still possible come fight with me